Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. In this video tutorial, we're going to be activating Click and Collect in M2E Pro. In update 6.2.1, M2E Pro added in the functionality so that you can use eBay's Click and Collect features in the United Kingdom. And Dave, what are we going to learn in this tutorial? So Matt, we're going to firstly look at where to find the settings for Click and Collect in M2E Pro. We're then going to look at where to find the hidden settings in M2E Pro. Because they really are hidden. Yeah. I've seen some comments in the forums saying, I've found the yes box to activate it, but that's it. We're going to show you where the hidden settings are as well. And finally, we're going to show you how to create and configure some custom attributes for you to use in your shipping policy. And with that said, let's go and do this and follow us along in your Magento system. So firstly, we need to find where we can enable M2E Pro for the click and collect function. Now, this is hiding, but it does actually make logical sense once you realize where M2E Pro have been and put the settings. And those settings are in Cell on eBay, then into Configuration, then you're after the Policies tab at the top. And what you're after here is your shipping policy. So I already know that our shipping policy is on page number two and we've got a shipping policy in here for Royal Mail 483 and Courier 699. So let's click into this shipping policy and now we just need to scroll down and I'm going to highlight this on your screen for you. The section which you're after is called click and collect and you'll want to change that setting from no to yes. Now, there are some additional settings and they are now hiding at the bottom of this screen. So if I scroll down, here's the extra settings which everybody's been hunting for, Dave. <laughs> yeah, you would have thought to put it right under that yes box. Seems to have caught a few people out that one. Yeah, it would have caught me out as well, hence the video tutorial. So these are the additional settings which you need to enter for click and collect. So number one, you need to choose your measurement system. For the dimension source, then what you can do, so we'll go for the really simple way first, and then we'll show you the more advanced way, which will give you more control. If you know that this shipping policy is only ever set on a listing group of an M2E Pro, which is only going to ever sell shoes and boots, for example, then what you could do just for the easy life is put some generic dimensions in here. So some generic width, height and depth values in here. So as long as it doesn't exceed the maximum dimensions for click and collect, then they'll go through. And again, just approximate values would be okay for all of your footwear, for example. However, if you're selling posters and maybe whiteboard pens, for example, they vary massively and you'll either want to look at either separate groups or look at the more advanced method, which we'll show in a few moments time. We've also got the weight value as well. Then again, that's broken into kilograms and grams. And of course, if you knew that all your Wellington boots, for example, were 1.9 kilos, then you would put in 1.9 in those values. Now, that is the simple way, but we're not going to stop there in this video tutorial for you. We're going to show you the advanced way. And what I mean by the advanced way is what you can do is change the custom value for dimensions and then change that to custom attribute. And then you'll see that these boxes have now been changed. So where it now says dimensions, you can now select from any of your custom attributes which you've got a Magento. So you can see that we've already done a little bit of work here and we've already got one called width, but what we're actually missing is two additional attributes, one for height and one for depth. And for the weight source, we're actually going to scroll down and then choose weight at the bottom, which is a standard Magento attribute. And that leaves us with three tasks. Number one, we need to create the height and depth attributes in Magento. Number two, we then need to add these to the attribute sets in Magento. And the final step is the really obvious one, which is that you'll then need to go through your products and then add width, height and depth to them so that when you either revise or create a listing with them to ePro onto eBay, which you do want to be enabled for click and collect, they, your products actually have those values in there and then they'll be accepted. And Matt, if you're going to have, say, two groups of products, one that were eligible for click and collect and one that aren't eligible for clicking or one that you didn't want to send on click and collect, 
Would you just duplicate the shipping policy to which one had click and collect enabled and one which had it disabled? Yeah, that's a brilliant uh, question, Dave. And yes, the answer is separate policy and you would use the duplicate button up here at the top, which I've just highlighted on my screen. And again, of course, you could then assign them to different listings or maybe have a different listing group within an M2E Pro as well. So brilliant question. And the duplicate button is our savior for that. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> cool. So let's go and press save and let's go and click confirm on that one a moment. Now, we did mention that we knew, do need to go and add two additional attributes. And again, this is dead straightforward to do. So if you go to catalog, then into attributes and then manage attributes. And we want to create two, well, we need to create two additional attributes. But in your case, you're going to need to create three attributes, ATT underscore width, ATT underscore depth and ATT underscore height. Is that right, Dave? That's right. Cool. So we've already been and added our width attribute in. So in your case, what you would do is type in ATT underscore width, like so, into the attribute code. You would leave the scope as store view and the input type is text field. And then on the left hand side, where it says admin, go and type in width. And then, of course, then go and press save attribute. Now we've already been and done our width attribute, so we're now gonna go and do height as the next one, and I'm gonna call our label as being height. So let's go and save that attribute. And then we've got depth is the next one. So again, add attribute, attribute code, att underscore depth, like so. Then onto the manage label and options tab. Let's go and call this depth, and then save attribute. Now, the bit which is going to catch you out is that if we went back to that shipping policy right now, is that these two or three new attributes are not going to show in those drop down boxes and it's going to drive you mad. And the reason for that is that you now need to add these attributes to your attribute sets. And the key here is that it's the plural attribute set. So you now need to add each of those attributes to all of your attribute sets. So what we're going to go and do, we're going to go and add those two additional ones to our default set. And then rather than you watch us go through our other attribute sets, we're going to hit pause here and then we're going to do it on the other ones as well. So with that said, we now need to go to catalog, attributes, and then into attribute sets. Let's start with the default attribute set. And then on the right hand side, can you see that we've got these unassigned attributes here, Dave? Yeah, see those there, the latest ones that we Create it right there at the top. Indeed. And in the middle area where we've got the groups, let me just scroll down. And you can see from before, we've got the weight attribute here and then ATT underscore width. So that was me testing earlier. So you'll have three attributes on the right. So what we're going to do, we're just going to drag and drop those across to our middle area, like so, and then press save attribute set. Now, depending on how many products you've got within Magento, that will take a few moments to go through. Now, I'm just going to quickly jump across to a product just to show you how this has come out on an actual product. So let's go and pick on our tent, which is our test product. If I now scroll down, can you see that we've now got width, height and depth in here now, Dave? Again, I'm just just putting some fake D cells in here, but this is where you would put in your actual width, height and depth measurements in here and then press save on that product record. And like I said, what we would then need to do is now go into color, shoe size, shoe size, main color, size and size color, and then drag and drop those three attributes across. Now, rather than you sit here and watch us do that, we're gonna hit pause and we'll catch up with you in a few moments time. So we've been and added those attributes into each of our attribute sets. And of course, as we've gone through and changed our attribute sets, we do have a notice at the top saying that one or more of our indexes are out of date. And of course, you can either go off and manually re-index those or just let the script, you know, maybe if you've got a cron job set up to re-index your site in the background. Again, we do have a separate video tutorial for that on YouTube for you. But anyway, coming back onto the topic, those have now been added to each of the attribute sets. So if we now go back to sell on eBay, into configuration, into our policies tab, and again, I know our shipping policy is on the second tab, which we're already there. So let's go back in to our shipping policy. And if we now scroll down 
is that you'll see that we've got width set and then now in this drop down box we should also have depth in there as well oh that's the wrong way round we want height in the middle one and then we want depth which is the last one there there we go and we've now got width height and depth and a little note is that you don't need to put cm on the end of your values back in your product because m 2 pro assumes those values are in centimeters as well so with that said and those values now set is that you can now go and save that policy and what we would then suggest is to go on and actually manually revise one listing on eBay just to confirm that it works and you do get click and collect enabled on that listing and just basically confirm it works. So, Dave, in the end, once we found the hidden settings for click and collect, which were down at the bottom, it was relatively straightforward, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, there's obviously a little bit of prep work needed to get those. If you're going to do it like with the total control using the attributes, you need to go and create those and add them to the sets as you saw us do. But once you've done that, it's plain sailing. And again, what I would suggest for you is to break yourself into one of two groups. Is that if you only ever sell footwear and you know that the boxes are pretty much the same size, personally, what I would do is put some generic values in there. But on the flip side is that if I sold or you sold a really wide variety of products, so from whiteboard markers to a three meter wide whiteboard, is that yes, you'll need to go and put in the product specific settings and we've shown you how to do that. So on that note, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful and Myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.